you know what time it is? Let me just show you. What does this picture look like to you? Does it ring any bells? Because a certain sun drip through my man, your boy Roshi said, if I send you this, it means I just want to talk. And yes, I think we're going back into the meeting room for peak dialogue. Oh boy, I can't wait on what we're going to talk about. I think last episode we had like um, the important dialogue was Damrata going around and trying to realize like what's going on. Is this something we can even take on? Maybe we should lie low. And then there was um, Yuki was also talking, right? And he said, we should uh, make a certain person. He like he wants to make Masayuki move, I think. So I think today's episode, maybe we'll finally meet Masayuki. Let's begin today's reaction. Even the letter seal was a slime. Wait, we only had one color. Rimuru colors potion before, but now we have so many different colors. They got even better. This is the same voice actor as Ryuga, the Dragon Emperor, Beyblade, completely off topic. Shiki, Nanami, Jujutsu Kaisen, and Jones Cartoon Beyblade, Ryuga. You want to juice me, Joe? Hey, yo. Oh, Competition with Kurobe? Is Kurobe gonna get actual lines? Alright. Does this count as a culture festival arc? You know how like in Slice of Life or rom-coms, we always do fucking culture festivals and each, you know, class sets at their own shop and see who can get the most class, you know, students to show up? She owned Giat. So, cooking. Is there gonna be a great cook-off? People are gonna die. そういえば。ごめん、プレステ鉄板焼きが見せ。鉄板焼きヴェルドラ。ひとまずはそれよ。シナはどうした?帰国の相談か?あの、リムル様に。It's going Take that fucking hat off, pussy. Come on, do it. Right, what? Oh, my bad. Hold the fuck up. He's a patissier? Who is reincarnated here? In the same world as me. This is important. This is really important. Well, the sub says reincarnation. But maybe he just summoned here. Seductive tricks? Look what she's wearing. She's wearing full everything. No cleavage. She bowed out of politeness. You saw her. You think she's seducing you? Alright, bro. Yeah. We should get Shion to show up and cook for him. Yup, just do it. Where's Shion at? Bald! Oh, that Tamago roll animation, bro. Yo, this actually, there's a lot of detail here. Damn! He rolled so fucking easy. The egg roll didn't matter. He already made up his mind when Shuna bowed, bro. <laughs> you know what? I can respect Mjolnir, right? He doesn't immediately cut him up because he's a businessman, right? We're trying to do business and make money off of different type of people. But at the very least, he, you know, initiated by saying, all right, we got to have fair pay for the ladies dead, right? At least he did that because he's had some manners. <laughs> Inside is not spot on. I want to know Milnir's inner thoughts when he's talking with Rimuru now. If he's, you know, outwards, he's like, oh, you're so smart, of course, of course, but if he's like shitting inside, I want to know what he's thinking when he's talking to us. Oh, so no, 
市民権を得たエルフを奴隷にするなど不可能組織が絡んでおるに決まっておるわいどうだよいよいよまずいぞなんとかして断る口実をよーす何を聞きだってであろうがリムルの旦那じゃないですか今は少年間だから遊んでる場合じゃないとかいたのねじゃあ待ってるから後でなおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおい I feel like if this is an old picture, this fucking matters. If the, oh, yeah, he did save him from the dragon. Yeah, yeah. So this is basically him being like, damn, we gotta fucking make a painting out of him. So this is new. Got it. All right. There's no actual plot, like important lore. It's just basically he got saved by Rimuru back in season two, and now he's like, I got a cool painting for you. Oi, Kozo! Ia, Komusume ka? Katte ni naka wa de hai te kitoshi ni wa toru tsumori da! So it's a tomo, stray しました Honda, sumimase. Oi, Kazaku. You actually trying to get him as a slave for your nighttime business? A fucking true demon lord? Bro has no clue. Damn! Mask off moment! Guile! Street Fighter! What the fuck? Anyways, it's cool to see him have Rimuru's back. So much utmost respect. He has so much respect for Rimuru, he's willing to just kick out this Viscount guy. <laughs> Report it to the cops! I've been also calling him Mjolnir, which is the... Uh... Fucking Norse mythology weapon hammer of Thor, which I'd say is even better, but his name is Mjolnir. Not Mjolnir, it's Mjolnir, but hey, I think it's a... Pretty good thing to be compared to that fucking hammer, man. <laughs> he is very huge. <laughs> if Rimuru is so into elves back in the day, if we look in his hard drive before Tamura destroyed it all, do you think that there's any elf slave content in there? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. He doesn't seem to be disgusted about the whole elf slave concept right now. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, really? Dawn of the Underworld. I didn't know that. Of course, of course. ファストフードyou know what? I can appreciate this right now. Even though they're yapping a lot, the amount of dynamic animation going on to kind of illustrate the different things, the cooking stuff, this is actually kind of engaging, huh? Only 20! <laughs> Animation got smoother? Do you know why? Because Mohoka just got dropped. <laughs> well, Mohoka's ending, right? Like, it's done. Slime's going two cores. Apis Studio's like, finally, let's get this shit fucking out of here. Alright, let's focus on the main project. That's what they're fucking doing. <laughs> そいつだとだからね、ミュルマイルくん。一番腕のいいご名でベルドラを助けてちの安全面は。They'll be fine. They won't die. 
Radovel. Radovel, our new friend, our new foreign exchange student, Radovel would like to learn how to teppanyaki, please. He is good at holding a poker face. So you remember how I said like 10 minutes ago, I was like, what does he think in his head, right? Like in talking to Rimuru when he was like shitting against the other guy, <laughs> bro was like, holy fuck, it's actually the storm dragon. What in the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> Yeah. Now nah, he's your new savior. Nimuru no dan nani skuare ta ano toki katte kureru to yu no nara. Tanoshiku natte kimashita na. I wasn't really fully aware of like his personalities and how he views, you know, Rimuru. It may be just like a easy lottery ticket right back in season two, but seems like he is pretty respectful, huh? He's like, this is my savior. Resort town. We already have the hot springs. Japan tourism, bro. Amusement park, theme park, uh, casino, gamba, yeah, casino, amusement park. Giant playground attractions. The fucking uh, what? What? What else is there for like local tourist stuff? Uh, I don't know. Restaurant. Nice restaurant. Team activities. Alright, whole touring thing. Holy shit. Fishing tournament. Are we not a nation supposed to be inclusive of all races, not just humans, but monsters as well? And now Rimuru is like, all right, I got all my top dudes. Let's uh sell out, bring all these fucking humans here. Let them kill the fucking monsters for money. Nah, it's, it's not that. I don't think these monsters are the same as like, you know, the goblins, you know, the storm wolves, you know, the ogres and stuff like that, but... Are these also not monsters that we should be, you know, nice to? I don't fucking know how that works. They're not sentient, yeah, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Speaking, I mean. Gamba. Made cafe. Yeah. Made cafe. Put that shit into a third girl. Theater。ゲキ場が人気だとか。竹木や演劇が日ごとに上演。武闘大会というのが。ムーシャ・マサユキという would win? Gopta? All right, here's the stage. Tenkaichi Budokai, bro. In the final grand finals, we have Masayuki Lightspeed. And the other side, the captain of the Goblin Riders, Gopta. Who would win? <laughs> I don't know how strong Masayuki is. And they've been glazing him so hard. My expectations for him is very high. So, like, he should be not a joke character. He skipped it! He fucking off screen the Masayuki lore, bro! He skipped the story! Bro is the number one glazer of Masayuki right now. It's crazy, but okay. He's got some strong friends that we should be aware of. Good to know. Yes. Gladiator Arena. Tournament yeah, he is. I'll get rewarded just as well. 
Do you know why Milmire folded here? This is a very... This is a tactical play he did here, right? There's a lot of things to tell about body positioning during conversations and, you know, physical behavior. And he gets up when Mjolnir declined. And he, and he did a power move by moving and sitting right beside Mjolnir, flaunting his androgynous feminine looks. And then Mjolnir went, Ooh. No, I don't think he actually did that, but it was kind of funny that he sat beside him and, you know, he just folded immediately after that. ちゃんとした企画を立てさえすれば必要なものを揃えることなど造作もなかろうやるしかないわいこんなチャンスは二度とないぞ妖魔は you know who's gonna build this shit? Definitely not us. You know who's gonna do it? Fucking Gel, the other fucking orcs, and maybe some goblins, bro. I feel bad for them. They always gotta fucking deal with the fucking slave labor. It's like fucking... Where's that theme? You know what should be playing? You, you know what theme should be playing whenever Gel's being tasked to, like, build a fucking road and, like, brick by brick? Here, this is the theme. It's a really, um... <laughs> Where is this shit? <laughs> you guys know this theme? Faster! Faster! Move, Gil! The Colosseum! Faster! The Stop. Stop. <laughs> this is what Gel needs to hear, bro. This is what Gel needs to hear in slime. <laughs> You're building this Colosseum, baby! Yeah, I'm gonna get more copyright if I keep playing this. <laughs> I feel like we should play that fucking theme whenever Geld and the other bros have to do backbreaking fucking slave labor. Everybody's gonna show up. Even the angels? Interesting way to prevent scalping and scalp, I don't know. Yeah, we're like everyone can join in and do it. The amount of money, bro. That's just... He's envisioning. You know, sometimes Rimuru is really stupid, especially with stuff like, you know, understanding like Luminous was God finally this season, right? He's slow in those regards, but like this other shit? He's really good at planning and logistics and stuff. What was his job back in the day? He was like a logistics kind of manager, right? He did like construction building and managing people, right? So I guess this kind of is his domain. He was a salary man, but wasn't he like some kind of like construction, like um, building manager, logistics, supply chain guy? I don't know. Wait, wait he just said. Lucky then. One fact, many of you guys might not, not know this, but like events, hosting huge events like this, the first time around, like the first time event, when you do a huge, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Like in a huge gathering event like this, you're expected to lose money, but it's expected again because the next time, like it's gonna make more profit. So what Mjolnir is saying right now is actually very true of these different shows and theaters and different events like that. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, if you were to get rid of all the context here and you showed people just these two, you know, this frame, like... Like, people are already, like, the content just makes itself. There has to be art out there of Mjolnir just, just blowing Rimuru's back out, right? There, there, there has to be. He does look like a fat, ugly bastard archetype, too. 
Surely I didn't title the episode of this video wrong on purpose to make you guys engage and boost the algorithm, right? I'm just testing you. Gambling! Rising up Mjolnir, bro. Making some sus sounds. この大会が成功したらうちに来ない。財務総括部門とかでもいいかも。まあ、別に。いや、うちも初代が大きくなってるし。Welcome Now name him. You can't cuz he's already named. What happens if you try to name a human? Alright, Mjolnir, your name is now gonna be Mjolnir. It wouldn't work like that, right? It, it, it's impossible, right? <laughs> A human with two names? It's only been shown in legends? Fuse, the self-insert character. He's the author of the show. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Does he not realize? <laughs> he doesn't realize that it's him. You are the pro. Why is he so upset? He's always fucking enjoying our hot springs, man. I thought the Oh, he feels guilty about the outcome of the last arc. They're all shriveled up now and dead. Blasted her. まあ、俺としても肩の荷が降りた気分ですよ。それじゃあそろそろ行くけど、彼を渡しておくよ。これを俺たちの町を大々的に宣伝しようと思うんだ。フューズも参加してもいいじゃないか。ブルムンド王への
Uh, we're going to have other people coming in to eat, different resorts, hot springs, theaters, gamba, who knows. And it's looking like a, like a very happy, just calm arc. I hope there... I, honestly, I'd be perfectly fine if we ended the season without any major conflict. And we just had a... It's like a, it's like a, it's like a best time of our lives just hanging out at the festival. But I'm not sure if this is the only thing that's going to happen, right? There's some other stuff that's also probably going to happen beyond this. But I'm pretty excited for this. Especially Masayuki. They are glazing Masayuki like no other. So I hope he delivers. But well, that's it for me. If you're still here... If you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.